also has that Kazuya, who we have admittedly we have not seen for quite a while, but at one point was one of the best, or if not the best, Kazuya in Europe, especially on that release. So I can imagine that Longo does have quite a lot of experience against that Kazuya Mishima. So my question is the pizza time, how you can differentiate your game plan, your the structure of your of your style of your game. Now to the, fight. the last time I watched Pizza Time was uh, Last Invasion. Mm. And I saw him actually do some really, really custom stuff with the character. So it shows that he's got like an adept knowledge of the kit and the arsenal laid out before him. And I'm interested to see how he uses it. Is, are we going to be seeing the regular bread and butters? Or is he going to have to feel out neutral a little bit more? And this start is already quite yeah. telling. Longo with 82%. Pizza Time hasn't found a chance to get a hit. And here it goes. It begins. It actually begins again. Indeed, and we're going to see... Trying to land the F-Smash, but you know, on that platform, you can't really extend it like that with the F smash. Very, very unfortunate. But he's got the raid drive on deck here now. Oh boom! And that's gonna be it. P oh no no, but I mean we've got remember, you know, Rob got that big body, but also that massive weight too. A little reversal, you know, comes but all the way back from the ledge with a back air to close out Pete Sam's first off. Yes, sir. Longo is showing that he's not something to forget. There's the, oh, oh, the oh strongest, my God. the strongest reflector in the game. You have to acknowledge it. If Peter Sam is on the other side of the stage and you have fully charged laser, you both know what he wants. Don't play into it. Play around it. That's absolutely mental, Dalex. Holy crap. The fact that the timing you need for that as well, because it's such a massive hitbox, especially the big version of that laser. To be able to reflect that is truly take some skill as we can see Pizza Chan trying to carry on all the way to the corner here but no longer managed to find a way out got the gyro in hand oh no the gyro Dalex bro the gyro it, yeah, it just sets up into anything and everything Longo could possibly desire. And the fear factor of it being there allowed uh, Longo to go into a grab, which obviously converted into more and more stuff. But Pizza Time landing that solid hit, showing off the armor, but it's just not enough. Longo takes that back air, sends it flying, and Pizza Time drops to the last stock of the first game. That's absolutely crazy. The way Longo is able to convert off all of these hits, right? And absolutely crazy, crazy things going on here for Longo right now. Just, he's really, I, I really love how he's suffocating um, Pizza Sam's airspace here, you know, constantly in his area. Oh my god, and, and, and like harassing him with that foot forward, that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. so. Longo's controlling space really, really well, knowing that Kazuya's burst range is and just staying outside of it mm. and not letting him get off electric, not letting him toss out those haphazard kicks and instead beating him around his own, his own threat range. But for now, Pizza Sam takes Longo to that even stock count. It's very good spell disaster though. Ouch. I think it's spelled disaster. Yeah. I, I can't lie, bro. If that if that's what Rob's way of spelling, I think that was disaster right there. Very very good game one from Longo, and I think I mean that that Kazi experience from um, Tarek is definitely definitely paying off, man. He he Longo's seen things in his time, you know. Mm, most yeah. definitely. As I was saying, it feels like he's really used to playing around the threat space that Kazi controls because he very much from those characters has just like a bubble around him, definitely. where if you're here, you're getting hurt. And Longo was kind of even we saw I think one use of F tilt of Rob, which just slightly outspaced Pete's time attack he knew what he was doing and for that reason Pete's time switching over to Terry Bogart trying to make use of better movement options bigger options and uh well just overall more pressure that you can keep on at all times uh I can understand this I can totally totally get it yeah me too I think I think Terry in general is covering a lot more space with his moves which he's got the crack shoot got good horizontal recovery as well on it and the burn knuckle power the all of these have a lot of crap on the moves and they cover so much space which you know Longo is definitely taking up with that big big rubber is not to mention just a way better jump squat uh straight from the word go we saw him jump over a gyro and a laser uh obviously Kazia it has got a really weird jump squat where he takes him he takes a while to get off the ground mm. whereas Pete Sam can jump over something get in get 61 yeah. percent and it just keeps going even the recovery if Longo isn't ready for it the, the damage just piles up yeah most definitely so man like off a of parry he converted off into so much damage and once again using that crack shoot to cover the space of that central central platform there but there we go getting grabbed and we can see the up edge please di and he got the di check ready on lock daleks bro yeah this time you aren't dying, but you are going to be taking that second back air. You can just toss it out. It's safe. It kills. It does everything you could possibly want and more. Longo is in a very comfy spot as well because you are now more than happy to zone because that reflector is gone, baby. It's off the table. That's definitely so, and I can't like Pizza Time's going to have to work a lot more because now that go near is gone, like you said, bro. And he's getting absolutely swatted out of the air with his forward airs, bro. Oh, my God. Power dunk. Take him all the way off stage now. Can you convert off into kill? That's what's really gonna make it or break it here. Pizza. Mm. 
It feels like there's almost a little bit of matchup insecurity for Peace Time here, not really knowing where Rob's burst ranges are, where his threat options come from, and what he can do from ledge. We've seen him get batted away uh, from that ledge a couple times. Whoa! And he hasn't been respecting that back air. That one was terrifying. This is janky as hell, I can't lie. So many missed. Oh, everything's whiffing here, man. Goodness me, the down tilts can't be used to harass uh, Peter's time here. Power dunk to recover back and actually avoids the gyro into that charge rising tackle dynamics. Absolutely crazy. Gets the kill. A very comfy kill from the center of the stage, but then Longo goes, I can do that too, and kills with the down smash off the edge. Pizza time on 0%, last stock. Longo has a whole extra one in the tank, and that tank oh no! is full of oil! Oh, okay, I thought he lived that yeah, for a no second key. Yeah, that knockback looked really, really slow, actually. Okay. But um, <laughs> we've seen that HDR knockback, bro, what the hell? But anyway, beautiful stuff from Longo. It's a 2-0 right now, Tim, but obviously, you know, it is regen. Everything is first to three, best out of five people ever since pools, bro. Eh? Mm. Imagine that, but what an amazing, amazing event we have here at Team Region GG. Oh, 100%. This is just the start of Sunday, and we're already having a hot oh, yeah. set. We haven't had, well, at least I in my pools that I've been commentating, haven't had a single sleeper yet, definitely and not. it doesn't look like this Sunday is shaping up to be any different. Definitely, definitely not. As we're heading into this game three, can Pete's time return back to the Kazia, actually? Very interesting. Returning back to the Kazia, can he change the game here? Can he find a way to exploit on his weakness, but I think he mentioned something very smart about how um, Longo is very, very good at like you, his, manipulating his airspace around Peter's time. You know, he's not directly above him, he's not too far, not too close, he's always in the correct position. Mm, most definitely, Peter's time has to work out what these ways in are. Longo is more than happy to just run away, exploit the options that Peter's time can use, but he's a little bit hesitant to. There you go, coming in with Nair after Nair. Peter's time just can't do a thing about it, it's looking kind of scary. Most definitely, so man. And we're seeing that the gyro coming out there from Longo, you know, and he down to him and runs back to get it. But, you know, Pete's time, he's on his tail, gets the grab in. Can he do anything about it? But the forward air is going to swim out. Back air gets parried. That's big. That's very big right there. It is huge. Pete's time has been on point with these parries, and they are the thing that's going to be changing these safe aerials into punishable ones. Ooh. But if you aren't ready Whoa. to get juggled, you're going to get passed all the way to the circus. Longo bullies Pete's time to the, the side blast zone to take that first stock. Longo's been dominating this set. Dominating is the correct word here, Alex. That was absolutely mental. We're seeing the double Z drop, I believe, with Longo into the forward smash to convert off. Absolutely mental. And, you know, <laughs> it's just, bro, what the hell? Is he in a circus? The guy is juggling right now, bro. Falling up air on Rob, you don't see it too often, I don't think, but, like, Longo was very clearly ready to just capsize on anything. Here we go. Pizza time Long? has his time in, but misses the third set. Doesn't get the lock on the platform, and it's Longo's time to play the game. Oh my god, it definitely is, man, and I can't lie, if he can't land here, he does get the landing, but it was looking very, very scary indeed, man. I just, yeah, Pete's up just working all these moves, that electric hitting that shield, I'm be just barely missing anyway. Oh god, back air sending him off. Can he get the down air? No, no, lucky. lucky. Big fan of Pete's time using the laser in the air there to try and steal out the time, trying to... What the... What on earth? There was no hit pause there. There was a clash mm. and a burst, and we did not see what happened in between. Uh, Longo is sitting very comfortably, and Peace Time took that comfort away and begins to mount the comeback. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a really, really interesting interaction. I believe it's because back air is so goddamn active because they decided to make Rob absolutely busted. That back air <laughs> is so active, it actually managed to outtime the freaking um, Dragon Up up there. I've just beamed um, Peace Time on the very last second. Of course, of course, this game is held together with duct tape and rubber bands, but Pizza Time is looking to make that his oh benefit. Oh Tries to go for the reflector, doesn't quite Bomb. find it. The down smash looks to make an intro to this damage at Longo. Doesn't seem to be panicking under any of this pressure. Yeah, on the, on the contrary, the Pizza Time is really struggling to make these conversions work here. Oh, got the gyro offstage, just barely missing Pizza Time. Being positioned perfectly, but Pizza Time gets very lucky on that roll in there. Yeah, Longo. Playing the patient game, staying away, hoping that Peter's time makes an option first. But whenever Longo does make an approach, it's these really safe options. It's the ones that can hit your shield and then let him run away. This could kill. No? Oh goodness me, bro. Why is he so fat, bro? He's heavy. He's oh. in the middle of the stage and Peter's time is not. Peter's time is in the bottom of the stage. Way, way bottom. That's going to be 3-0 to Longo. I, that was winner's side, right? That was definitely, I think it was, it was definitely winner's side. But okay. obviously, dang, losing that, that definitely hurts the soul just a little bit, man. You know, especially after you use your strongest move, mm. you know, and doesn't even get the kill, and then you're fortunately met with a little ta love tap to the face, and then uh, yeah, and then stage spike. Very, very unfortunate. Very, mm. very unfortunate.